Hi, this is Captain Chaudhary. I will continue my lecture on gyro. I welcome you to attend this session of gyro. Sometimes you might be asked a question based on absolute fundamentals. For example, there might be a question like if the mass is increased by 20% uh, and the radius of gyration increased by 25% how much will be the change in gyroscopic inertia so as you know moment of inertia is equal to m r square mass into radius square now this is suppose initial gyroscopic inertia m r square now m is increased by 20 percent so it becomes 1.2 m radius of gyration is increased by 25 percent so it becomes 1.25 r whole square so this becomes m r square into 1.2 into 1.25 square so let's look at uh, the product 1.2 into 1.25 into 1.25 equal to 1.875 1. 1.875 mr square so the gyroscopic inertia has increased by 87.5 percent sometimes there might be a question in respect of performance standard an experiment is conducted for say for example settling of the gyro so you are given different timings the way the gyro axle wanders on the east side and the west side timings and readings are noted for maximum east maximum west etc so the question might read like this in a performance test in a performance test the gyro axle was found wandering like this 0 4 0 degrees at 14 33 and 350 degrees at 1519 and again 005 degrees at 1558 so what you have find out is the period of gyro it is a cycle period of the gyro number one and number two what is the damping coefficient and the third one is theoretical settling point that is uh, damping factor equal to b difference c divided by a difference b and it is equal to s difference b divided by a difference s mind you uh, in the readings which are given like this the first reading that is maximum easterly reading is called a then maximum westerly reading is called b and second maximum easterly reading is called c so we know abc s is theoretical settling point the point of caution here is when the gyro settles like this the heading of the ship might be northerly, it might be easterly heading. So do not assume that the final settling point will be close to zero. It will depend on these readings. It will depend on the heading of the berth. Right? So uh, what I suggest, the point of caution is these readings which you see, if you want to find out the difference like B difference C, A difference B, etc., the difference has to be found on the compass rows. So just for your reference, I will draw the compass rows over here right so the a is like over here and the b is over here and c is over here and who knows probably the theoretical settling point might be on this side so we will find out the difference looking at the compass rows the b difference c would be from here to here. The B difference C would be from 350 to 005 as read on the compass. So 350 to 005 will be 15 degrees. 
A difference B is 40, that is from 0 to 40 is 40 and B is 350, right? So B to A or A to B will be 40 plus 10, that is 50. Right, so B difference C as read on the compass rules divided by A difference B is 15 upon 50 and that is F, which means the F is equal to 0 0.3. F is 0 0.3. This is damping factor. Right? Percentage damping is 1 minus F multiplied by 100. So that is 70%. Simple. Now let us look at this part. Now I am assuming that the theoretical settling point is on the west side of 0 0 0. You may assume that it is on the east side of 0 0 0 also. But if you have assumed correct, if your assumption is correct, then you will not get any negative sign or otherwise you might get negative sign if your choice was not correct. So point 3, if I am assuming that the S is on this side, S difference B will be uh, 10 minus S and A difference S is going to be 40 plus S because S is on the same side as B and S is on the opposite side of A as compared to 0, 0, 0. So when we solve this, 0.3 is equal to 10 minus S upon 40 plus S. If I multiply then 12 plus 0.3 S is equal to 10 minus S which means that 1.3 S is equal to minus 2. 1.3 S is equal to minus 2. That means S is equal to minus 2 upon 1.3. That gives me 1.54. Because I got negative sign, so the settling is not on this side, settling is on the other side of 0. So 1.54 degrees is the settling position. Let us say there was another candidate who assumed that the settling point is after 0. So we will redo the question. This is 0, this is 40 so A, this is 350 so B and this is C that is 005. And I'm assuming that the settling is on this side. We'll do the same part again and we will say 0 0.3 is equal to S difference B. If the theoretical settling point is over here, then S difference B will be B plus S. And A difference S will be equal to 40 minus S. So, uh, on cross multiplication, I get 12 minus 0.3s is equal to 10 plus s. So this means 1.3s is equal to 2 and therefore theoretical settling point will be 2 divided by 1.3 and that is 1.54 the theoretical settling point. Now if you see that the axle was on maximum easterly uh, position at 1433 and once again it was in the similar phase at 1558. So if we want to know about the cycle of gyro, it will be the time difference between the similar phases that is maximum easterly and let us see how much you get. 1 hour 25 minutes. Thank you.